There are over half a million people in Britain who experience the world very differently to the rest of us. These are people with autism, a puzzling condition, which 70 years after it was first given a name, we still know very little about. My name is Uta Freth. I'm a psychologist and I've spent my career trying to unravel the mysteries of the autistic mind. By spending time with many different people on the autistic spectrum, I want to show you what a complex condition it is. I want you to join me as I reveal what I've discovered about these amazing people. 23rd of May. 16th of August 2001. How do you do it? How is it possible to have this extraordinary ability? And how do people with autism cope with relationships? I don't know. Why are we together? You tell me. You're my required amount of social contact. <laughs> These fascinating people that I've met over the years have shown me that another kind of reality exists that is full of immense challenges, mysteries, but also joy. Mum always wears blue because of the dolphin. He thinks I'm a dolphin, <laughs> why? You got the dolphin smile. smile. Uh, and, and you love fish like dolphins. Dolphin. You love sea bass. You like us to throw you sea bass when you're in bed. I want to show you that by understanding their world, we can learn more about our world. In my quest to understand the autistic mind, I've spent a lifetime conducting rigorous experiments. Okay, let's have a look. By comparing people with autism to the rest of us, we can start to see what autism really is. My fascination with autism began 50 years ago when I met some autistic children while I was training to be a clinical psychologist. I was immediately fascinated of the paradox of how these beautiful, bright-eyed children could be so detached from the world. When I asked a question, an autistic child would repeat it and not answer it and I couldn't engage them in a conversation. And I couldn't engage them with toys either. An autistic child might rapidly complete a jigsaw puzzle, but show absolutely no interest in a, a game of teddy bear's picnic. I passionately wanted to find out what was going on here. <laughs> 